Hey guys, Vivit, and welcome back to another video. And uh, this is going to be another episode of my How I series. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my Livid Farm. So now, obviously, with the Completion Escape, you need to do uh, Livid Farm for 850,000 Produce Points. And all that, that takes a lot of hours. I'm not quite sure on what the exact hour amount is. If you do know, leave me in the comments below. But at this stage, I've been doing Livid Farm um, straight from 100,000. So I'm currently on 500... And uh, 503,000 now, so I'm not at 850,000 yet. Um, but you know, seeing as I've done it straight from like 100,000 to 500,000, I've basically, uh, I basically got the main gist of what to do at Livid Farm. So I'm going to be sharing with, uh, sharing that with you guys, and hopefully uh, improving your Livid Farm game. And uh, you know, obviously I'm not the best at Livid Farm. If you're the best at Livid Farm, congratulations. But um, you know, if you, I don't even like no one. Honestly, I don't really like doing Limit Farm. I'm just doing it because of the completionist, and uh, I there are actually some pretty pretty good rewards here as well. Like for example, you know, um, teleport to Trollheim. I think that just teleports you straight to the patch. I'm, I don't know. Uh, Vengeance group that used to be good for Corp. Uh, remote farming is always good, and you know, a bunch of these rewards are uh, quite quite useful. So as as soon as I get that 800, 850,000 produce points, I'll be very very happy. But to start off, this is obviously the farm you want here. And uh, there are some trends with the farm. Now, I'm going to quickly go over a couple. Uh, you know, this may or may not confuse you because, you know, if you're just starting Livid Farm, this probably isn't the right, you know, essentially guide for you, I guess. But if, you know, if you're, if you've got like the Falador tasks done, or I think it's, is it Fremenic task or Falador task? I'm not quite sure which one it is. But basically, you have to get the teleport to South Falador. So I'm guessing it's the Falador one. So that's 70,000 points. But uh, if you've done that, um, hopefully this guy's going to help you out. So basically, when I'm dealing with the farm, so obviously there's a couple of parts of the farm. There's obviously encouraging Pauline. There's fixing the fences. Uh, there's uh, taking the log piles and um, converting the lunar lumber, as well as fixing the broken fences. So I'm going to start with just the farm here. Now generally, uh, what you have to do is you have to fertilize three uh, three empty patches as well as cure plant on three different diseased livids. So at this stage, what I do is I normally click on the first three diseased plants straight away. And then I just go straight to the uh, cure plants. Now there are a few trends that you may or may not notice on livid farm. Now, the first three plants right in front of me, as well as the middle one here, they're all the top right hand, um, they're all the top right hand plants, so that's that one there, so that's the first three here, as well as the middle one there, and then obviously you see how these three are exactly the same along the side, if you can see where my mouth is, now that is the very, very first one. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not quite sure what that one is there, but, uh, you know, we'll, hopefully we'll see if it resets. And then the fourth one over here would... Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you'll, you'll see how four out of the five on the right-hand side are the very, very first, uh, very, very first plant, which is that one just there. And, you know, it's nice to know because... Uh, you don't have to worry about choosing the first option for the other three rows. And, you know, that's, that's, that's a very, very nice thing to know. But as you continue to do the livid farm, you'll you know you'll get to know which plant is where. And you know if you're just starting out, it's best just to have a look at what the plant is. So obviously you can see these ones are reddish, and uh, these ones are a little bit uh, orangish as well as you know these ones being a bit yellow and these ones being a bit green. And you can tell by you know the looks of the plants. Um, and obviously this one's got four stems. That's an easy to, easy way to remember it. And the green one over here is actually the bottom left one, and that's because it's just really, really open. So, uh, you know, as you get to do this more, you'll be able to understand which plant is where and basically how to do Livid Farm. But here we've got Encourage Pauline. Now, this is very, this is an easy, easy way to get like 100 points, I think it is. And, you know, all you have to do is encourage her to get some more points. And you'll, you'll notice how, see how she just reset the farm and she's gone back to normal. You can't actually encourage her anymore. She says Pauline is currently fine. That means that there is some produce pile uh, to fix, which is over here. And if I go down to my ability bar, you'll see I've got the lum uh, Lunar Lumbar as my first option, as well as the Livid Plant as second option. And that's simply because as soon as you pick up the produce pile, I just double tip, uh, double double tap number two and then deposit it at the trade wagon. That gives you a fair amount of points for very, very little work. Now, like, I'll just reiterate, if Pauline, if you don't have an option to encourage Pauline, if she's already fine, um, then your farming patch will be there, but if your farming patch isn't there, then you've got to encourage Pauline. So it's kind of like there, um, that's almost like a little pattern, I think. But then we've got the log pile. So I normally take about 10 of these and then start uh, doing the plank make, I think it is. I'm not quite sure what the spell is. But then um, there's also three different patterns with the broken fences as well. So you'll see there... Um, 
so I'm going to stand here and kind of give you a kind of a gist on um, which fences pair with which because there are three different rotations of the broken fences and they're all the same basically every single round. So the very, very first fence here and the very, very last fence on that uh, northern wall, they're exactly the same. So that's the first one. We've also got the um, broken fence. We've got the broken fence here closest to the... Uh, closest to the produce pile, as well as the one not not at the end. So it's that one there, and it's that one there. They're like a, they're like a little pair. And our third one is um, is just the outsides again. So we've got the eastern wall. So it's obviously the one most north, and then the one on the outside. And I remember that just by uh, remembering that it's like it's the two broken fences on the outside. So we've got one on the north side and one on the south side. And yeah, like I said before, it's gone back to the very, very first rotation. And that's the one to the uh, far west and the one far east. So uh, they're the three. So let me just uh, tell you guys what those are again. So it's the first one out here. So it's most west, most east for the first one. The second one will be, um, you know, the most western one on this one. So the one close to the barnyard as well as the one um, not at the end as well as these two right here. So they're, they're the pairs. Now, it doesn't happen every single round. For example, it won't go, you know, these two on the outside, and then these two, and then these two. It, it, it gets randomized, so... I'm just showing you guys, basically, the pairs that there are. But I'm going to basically show you guys quickly um, some quick ways, I guess, of doing the farm. So I like to obviously take some of the Lunar Planks and, you know, start making those straight away. Double-click that number two to get the uh, produce, and then head over here, fix these planks straight away. And then make sure you trade your wag deposit trade wagon, and then head back over to the farm. And then, like I said before, fertilize the empty patches, as well as uh, kill the other plants. So this is basically, a, essentially, a perfect run. Now, you have a quite a lot of time to, uh, obviously, complete all everything that needs to be done for the livid farm before the next rotation begins. And another little tip I like as well is when you click on one of the plant, uh, when you click on one of the plants, for example, and it gives you the op option to um, cure disease, you can actually bring it over here. So you've got, you know, all the plants options here. Um, this is my friends list here, hashtag Trent Swag. And, um, you know, that's so, I like to just have that right next to the plant, so I don't actually have to move my mouse that much. But that's basically all I wanted to show you guys in this video. Uh, you know, it's very, very repetitive, so if you do it a bunch of times, you'll be able to get it, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very easy to do. So, through repetition, you guys will be able to get it uh, with ease, and, you know, you'll be, you'll be able to remember what plants look like, look like which, as well as, um, you know, where, which plant is where. But hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, and subscribe for more videos. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I uh, will see you in the next video. Bro. Well,